One of the most important pieces of gear that you can have in any of your outdoor equipment bags is some type of emergency shelter. Now I know when I say that it might seem a bit overwhelming. A survival shelter? <laughs> Really, a survival shelter is a very simple setup. It's so simple we can set it up under one minute. The great part of it too is it doesn't cost a lot. You can literally do this for under $10 if you shop around a little bit. You just need a few items. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna get is a tarp, some type of tarp. Now, I like to go with something that is either four by six or five by eight. You don't wanna go too large with this. You can get these tarps at any retail shop. Just look around, the cheap blue ones will do just fine. The next item that you're going to need is paracord. About 50 foot of paracord is going to work perfectly for this. Go with a brighter color, it's gonna just make life a little bit easier. And then lastly, you're gonna want some type of tent pegs. Tent pegs are gonna be important for this. Four tent pegs is more than enough. At this point, we have all the components we need to set up our shelter. So we're gonna lay this out, but first we're gonna need to find a campsite or an emergency situation. A campsite might be better. This should work pretty good right here, I think. But before we do anything, we need to prep this tarp. Prepping the tarp is an easy process. The first thing that we're going to do is take our paracord. You're going to need to cut four one foot sections of paracord and place them off to the side. Next, you're going to need two 15 foot sections of paracord. It can be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, but 15 feet works best. Next, lay out your tarp. Identify the length of the tarp, meaning the longest part of it. On each of the two corners along that length, we are going to run our power cord through the grommets. Once the power cord is through, we can just place a simple overhand knot onto the power cord closely to the grommet. Before we are finished, you're going to take the one foot sections and tie them on each grommet. Use an overhand knot on each one of these pieces furthest away from the grommet as possible, creating a loop on each corner of the tarp. Once both sides are knotted off, you can fold up your tarp and the process of prepping your tarp is complete. So a totally prepped survival shelter is the size of just a large water bottle and I could probably crush this down even smaller if I would want to. It's lightweight, there's really no reason why you should never put this in the bottom of your pack and just let it there. It should never be sitting at home. You should have it with you when you're enjoying the outdoors just in case that emergency ever happens. Now there are two styles of survival shelters that I like to teach. I think that they cover every basis for an emergency situation. The first is a lean-to and the second is a plow point. But before we talk about the positives and negatives of each style, I wanna show you how quickly and efficiently we can actually set this up. Now for in an area that we decide we are going to need to stay put or for some reason maybe just wait out a storm, the first thing we wanna do is take a look around. Think about the five W's and are we in a good place for camping? If we are, then we can set up our shelter. Now if we're happy with our site, we can deploy our shelter very quickly. Keep your tent pegs in your pocket so you don't lose them and simply unravel the line off of your shelter. Just let it fly open like that. Now you want to first look to make sure that you're setting your shelter up correctly, meaning that the long width is going tree to tree. So we're going to take one end and come to the first tree. So we're going to begin by pulling the cordage about waist height against one of our trees and then simply wrapping the cordage around the tree one time, keeping it nice and tight. At this point, we can just use a shoelace knot, the same way we tie our shoes, to tie this side of the shelter onto the tree. Then we're going to come to the other side of the shelter, grab our long line and do the same process on the other side of the tree, making sure that the front of our shelter stays tight. Now that our shelter's strung up, we can take out our tent pegs and pull tautly to set our shelter in place. And there you have a lean-to style configuration shelter, a very quick, easy setup. Now the biggest benefit to a shelter setup like this is that in the front, in this area, you can set a fire and that fire is gonna radiate heat back into and keep you warm all night. The biggest drawbacks though that I find with these types of shelters are that individuals are just uncomfortable being that exposed to the elements. They feel as if the shelter's not protecting them enough. 
Also, if the individual is not experienced enough and doesn't take wind into consideration, this shelter can actually work as a wind stop and just catch all the wind coming into you. So it's very important you take that into consideration. Now the next style of shelter is called a plow point configuration and this begins the same way. We set the first side of our tarp up against a tree. Waist height is always a good starting point. From that point then we grab the corner opposite of our tie out and this is where the loops come into play. It allows us to put our tent peg in there and pull this straight back. Tighten that down into the ground. And then we come out to each side and open this shelter up, creating a plow style configuration. And there you have it, a plow point configuration. Simple, easy, and effective. This is even a little bit simpler to set up than our lean-to. The biggest benefit with this is that it offers the individual inside more protection from the elements. We started out with this at waist height, but you can always drop that down to knee height or even mid shin if the weather is getting very bad. Now it is possible to set a fire out in front of this and get radiant heat, but we need to be aware of the roots of the tree, which we're attached to. So many times I use this type of setup if I'm not going to have a fire out in the front, protect myself from the elements and then move on to my next location. And there you go, that is how to prep and set up two different survival shelters, both the plow point and lean to. I mean, you gotta have the candle lantern, right? So listen, survival shelters, keep this with you, keep this packed away in your kit, it's not gonna do you any good if it's not with you. But I will also say that if you've never experienced camping under just a tarp, you definitely need to give it a shot. If you enjoy camping, nothing is better once you get comfortable staying in these than camping in one of these. Even during a rainstorm, you just open your eyes and everything is there for you to see, especially that sun coming up in the morning, absolutely glorious. So this was Dan Wolak, Yuko Ambassador. Check out all the cool gear and candle lanterns over at ucogear.com. And until the next video, stay lit.